Now, if you're a content creator that's looking to step up your video quality, lighting is an important part of every video shoot. But it's not just limited to content creation on, let's say, YouTube. You could be a photographer taking wedding photos. You could be someone who's creating content for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Regardless of the situation, lighting is essential. So today we're gonna to take a look at a new product from Colbor. This is the CL60, and this is a cob light that has 65 watts of power. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the CL60 is a 65 watt cob light that paired with either softbox or just using as is, is gonna really change your lighting situation uh, for any kind of creator experiences that you're working on. Uh, it basically weighs 550 grams, which puts it at a very, very light product. And it's, as you can see here, it's pretty small too. Now it does have uh, hummingbird cooling that's gonna keep it nice and cool so you don't have to worry about overheating. And then it has a variety of ways that you can charge it. You can actually charge it via a PD power bank, a PD adapter, an MPF battery, which is kind of like what we are, are used to from a standards perspective. And that's gonna give you also a lot of flexibility. It has a CRI rating of 97 plus, a color output of 2,700 Kelvin all the way up to 6,500 Kelvin, which is gonna give you again, um, pretty good range there. It has 10 built-in light effects that we're gonna see, and it's also app enabled, so it will work with the app on your phone. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Now included with your cob light, you're gonna have this nice travel bag, and it has a nice also shoulder strap here included. Um, everything fits in here really nicely, and you'll see here the actual uh, light itself. Now we're gonna see this performing in a couple minutes. Uh, so first couple things that I just wanted to highlight about it is that this is a really, really uh, small cob light. I really like how compact it is. It is all full metal design. It has a great uh, display in the back, although my preference is to use uh, the actual app itself. It's just a lot easier to navigate. We'll show you what this looks like on. It does come with this mounting system, and this is something that you can remove easily. Just showing you what it looks like on. So if I loosen this up a little bit it just comes off just like that and then you just slide it into place and I have this uh, paired with an actual soft box right and then um, I put this on a light stand uh, this mounting system right here you have um, obviously here's the actual uh, light source uh, you can push this button here and as you push this button down like this uh, this twists out and comes out and then this is going to give you now uh, the way I would put it is like, this is kind of like a universal adapter. This adapter is gonna allow you to connect this to a variety of devices. So if you're looking at a, a soft box, um, globe, any, any of the different models that you're really looking for, you're gonna be able to use this adapter for. So this is something that you're gonna be used um, quite often and gives you a lot of flexibility. Now this uh, cob light, the back LED is really, really bright. And I just wanna make sure that it doesn't get blown out. Uh, first thing that you'll see here that it does describe if the fan is on, it also, if it's connected, your color temperature right now is uh, 2,900 Kelvin. And then um, if there's any um, power going through for the light system. You have several buttons here that you can press, your power button. Here you have your, again, USB-C. Uh, here you have various dials that you can use to adjust the top row for this one, the bottom row for this one, and these are multi-functions, so you're able to push in to select and you dial up and down. I just want to show you how blown out this is going to get. So this is zero. That's one, and you can already see what's going on with my face here. This is two, this is three, and I get not direct lighting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? Pretty bright. And Again, that's uh, kind of like the, the intensity. So uh, very, very powerful lamp. And we're gonna see this in our testing, right? It also has a little cap, I think I've misplaced, but there's a little cap that goes right here. One of the things I'll highlight is that this is a hot, it, this could get hot, there's, this has a heat source. So it gets, uh, it gets hot, so make sure that you remove the cover off before you power up the lamp. As I was doing um, some testing with, uh, with the lamp, I'm telling you, I found that I said, what's that smell? And it was actually the heat, the light is so intense that the rubber cap uh, was beginning to melt, right? So the cob light is very, very bright. So uh, let's see how it works with a soft box and we'll see all the features there. All right, so let me show you how we've set up um, this test. So here we have the cold bore and it's using an adapter that comes with the unit to allow you to connect uh, soft boxes and other devices like this. So you'll notice that I'm using 
this, uh, this specific one, this P60, uh, to support our test here. It's a 23 inch. It's not one of the largest ones, but it should be enough for this test. So everything that you see going on right here, it's just connected normally, connected via Bluetooth. And this adapter that you see right here is also included. The only thing that is not included is, again, this uh, stand. Uh, just to give you a sense of uh, this side right here really quick. So we actually have it on. So you can see uh, the softbox, the light that's going through. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna set this up. We're going to shut down the lights and we're gonna create kind of like a somewhat of a moody environment so that we can see how well this softbox, or in this case, the cold bar, is actually gonna work with this softbox. As part of this test, we're going to keep the actual light in frame. You typically wouldn't do this if you're shooting a YouTube video or doing any kind of video production. But we're gonna keep it in frame so you can see what's happening there. And then also, you should be able to see uh, the kind of effect that it has on my skin, at least uh, skin tone, and we're gonna play with some of the settings. Uh, the one thing I'll highlight about the, the app and how it works with the actual light is I find that it was one of the easiest Bluetooth or app to light um, connections that I've had in a very long time. Literally, uh, you opened up the app, it found the light, it connected. Um, you know, typically you would have to go through a pairing experience that sometimes could be difficult. Uh, we didn't have that problem here. Now, when we take a look at the app, you'll notice that you have the ability to create scenes. And this is going to be great because you can actually create different uh, scenes that could kind of speed up your production, right? Because if you have already scenes, you have uh, either color, temperature, brightness settings that you know work for given situations, you can actually pre-program those and have them as you see right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into one of the scenes that I have, I'm gonna go into it, and then we're just gonna play with some of the settings. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that we have going on here. Uh, so what you'll see is at the very bottom, you have bonfire, flash, and candlelight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose start, and then what you should see is that you're going to have kind of like this flash, right? So this is simulating uh, if someone was taking a photography, you know, taking a, a picture of you, right? We could go bonfire. So this is the bonfire setting. And this is the kind of effect that you're going to have. And you can see it still in frame taking place. Kind of giving you like if there's um, some fire in the background. Uh, you also then have lightning. So here we have lightning going. And we'll see how that kicks off. And you could actually change, you'll notice at the very top here, there's an area that says rate, and right now has a rate of one. That's kind of setting up your speed. So this is what you're seeing right now. You then also have faulty bulb. And what you're gonna see is it's probably gonna start, yeah, there it goes. So it's gonna flicker a little bit, come in and out, come in and out, there you go. And again, you can adjust that interval as well. Uh, you could have pulsing, and we'll go into the pulsing. So you're gonna see that pulse in a couple seconds. There we go. And this is really great because you can use this, maybe it's not practical to have it on a person, like right here, but if you wanna have it like facing a wall, you wanna give that special effect, uh, just set the mood, you could definitely do that. Here's another one that we have here, and this is the candlelight. So let's watch how that kicks in in just a second. And you'll see how it starts, you know, so now it's starting to change. Now what I have noticed is that as you switch the uh, different modes, it does take a little bit before it kicks in. And you can see uh, kind of like uh, a little bit of the, the lag or the latency between making the change on the app and how quickly it basically comes uh, to the actual light itself. So this is something just to be aware of. You know, as you're playing with this, you can see uh, what, you, what your options are. Now, another thing that you can do is you can see here you have intensity. So I'm going to, right now I'm at 50. I'm going to lower this because that's uh, kind of bright. And I just want to show you, so we're going to bring it down to 40 so you can see what it looks like. We're going to go down to 39. Uh, let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit more. 33. And we're going to bring it down a little bit even less than that. So we have at that 30%. You can also change your, your color temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it to 27. Uh, we're going to bring it up to 28. And you're going to see as I'm sliding it up, we'll go ahead and pause so you can see the effect. You can still see uh, the light in frame, 4250, 5800, just to give you an extreme. And I'm going to bring it up to 6500, and you can see the difference there. I'm going to bring it back to 27, put it 2750, and we'll see how this changes. And you saw that the actual change was, was more, um, it was faster. It wasn't as gradual as, as some of the other ones. Uh, so 
Uh, again, really giving you some nice effects. Now I'm going to come over here to this area here and we're going to take a look at some of the options that we have. Now there's another area in the app that I just want to show you and this has some really nice presets, right? So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light and it should come up and it's going to be kind of harsh uh, for a second. And you can see here what choices that we have. So I'm just going to cycle through them so you can see the different light options that you have. So we actually have the color temperature there, right? So I can go ahead and reduce that or increase that and you can see the changes. Uh, that are happening there. Uh, but also what I can do is I can just choose different types. So I've chosen white halogen and it's going to simulate a white halogen bulb. Um, you notice that this is a short arc xenon, right? Uh, daylight. So this is going to be a daylight simulated view. We can also choose tungsten and you can see the, the differences that it has on my face. Uh, filming. Let me give that a second to adjust. Okay. Uh, modeling. I don't know why this one's modeling, but it's, it's modeling. Uh, and then we can go back to this uh, 5600 Kelvin setting, right? So again, presets that allow you to switch really quickly from one to another. I really like that option, especially if you're filming uh, different scenarios. For me, you know, this is going to be used for talking head kind of shots like uh, YouTube. So I probably wouldn't use all of these options. I probably just would do maybe some of the filming that it gets into that color maybe. I'll have to check and see how, how yellow I see because I, I think that this may bring up uh, too much of uh, a different color for, for my skin tone at least. So a uh, lot of color options. Now one other thing I wanted to highlight when you're working with this area and also you know changing kind of like uh, your different uh, light source models, you can also change the intensity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it to 100% so you can see you know, the kind of brightness that you're getting. And I'm also going to bring it down now to 10% so you can see what you get there, All right? Uh, I can change the color temperature manually if I want. So I'm going to bring that down to that one right there and modify it, All right? Or once again, you can go to any of the presets. The cool thing about this is that you're not really stuck with any of the presets they have. Uh, you can actually create your own, which I think is, uh, also gives you a lot of flexibility. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Colbor CL60. See you in the next video.